we're about to add so much horsepower to the car um, because race car put that around the back of the seat you know I'm still a kid so you guys might be saying oh I'm ruining it blah 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 right well it's just fun so got these stickers for free so might as well just put it on so yeah, let's get this squared up and let's do it here we go got it squared up perfect got it straight and everything so let's pull off the transfer tape this, you know, this is not the best made sticker, but it'll do. Just want to make sure it's really down before you take up the transfer tape. So let's show you. And there you go. That looks awesome, especially when I put the belt down and everything. It will be it will be kind of less. It will be more subtle. So this is awesome. Hell yeah. That looks so good because race car. All right, this is with everything on. You know, only people that know that saying will know. But that's awesome. Um, you guys may be questioning how come I have my seatbelt like this. It's because I don't want my seatbelt chime to go off and everything, and I want my seatbelt readily available. So that's what I do. Um, I can always get the. And I want my seatbelt readily available. You know, I can always get one of those seatbelt deletes that only have this part, just so it tricks the system. But the reason why is because um, I don't want my seatbelt, you know, dangling. Because when I drive, as you can see from those marks, it does this all day. So, yep, that's why. Five horsepower right there. <laughs> this is such a sparkly sticker. Um, I'm gonna get a new banner because as you can see I have air bubbles and that's from the rips and stuff. So I got a premium auto styling one and I got like 50% off on that one. So um, it was hella cheap. I'm just gonna put this on the inside and put this on the inside and as um, each event goes on I'll just put it on the inside. So let's go ahead and put this on. You know putting stickers on windshields is a hard thing because um, most of them are slanted along here, but I just lined it up with the top here. That's my alarm system. So there you go. And each event just go across like that. Now we're gonna add this to the bottom of the spoiler. But as you can see, I don't like how it looks if it's too small. I'm gonna just be spread out. So let's go ahead and do this. All right. So all I had to do was line it up with the third brake light. Just an eye alignment. So that's awesome. Push it down and take off the transfer tape. There you go, under there. And most cars, you can't even see it. But if you're below, that's so cool. One more to add, if you're an EP3 owner, you need one of these. So let's go ahead and put this on. There you go, right above the Speed Factory one. Just get it really on there. There you go. No air bubbles, nothing. Looks awesome. 